Hello guys and welcome to your 15th Java tutorial on constructors. Well, you might be asking, well, what what the heck are constructors? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explain and look at in this tutorial, and it's actually uh, going to segue really nicely with our last one, with our last tutorial. Uh, so anyways, as you can see here, I've deleted uh, most of the code from our last tutorial because that was more or less a demonstration of our setters and getters that we built from our player class uh, in the last tutorial. Uh, so anyways, you might have already realized, by the way, this is just a BTW, a quick BTW, that you could set for uh, one of our instances of player, say P1, we could set its name simply by typing P1.name and setting it equal to some kind of a name, or we could actually use the setName method. So we could either use a setter or we could access the pr it just as a, as a simple property. Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, but anyways, uh, so there was really two alternatives to that and they pretty much do the same thing. Uh, so anyways, let's move on. As you can see here, we've uh, left our three uh, player object declarations right now and I'm just gonna uh, set, you up guys, set you guys up with a really common problem that many programmers face. Uh, well, as you can see, whenever we declare an instance of the player class, right, Bob, right, well that's his name, right, so he has right now, as all the instances of the player class do, he has a string variable with the name of name, right? And wouldn't it be cool if we could take that name variable and whenever the user, whenever we, for example, we named an object Bob, wouldn't it be cool if in this same line of code we could also set that name variable, set this name variable to be equal to Bob, right? Well, right now we could do that, but outside of this declaration we would have to write something like Bob dot name we would have to access the property and we would have to actually remember to do that for each of these objects if we didn't want if we wanted to use the their uh, the string value for their names right and we would have to type Bob right well isn't isn't there a simpler easier way in which we could do this exact same action in the actual declaration well turns out guys there is uh, and that way is to use a constructor Alright guys, now let's take a look at our scanner variable here. Little do you guys know, but this this thing is actually a constructor. What you're doing here is new, and you're calling a, you're calling a certain method. Alright guys, that's, that's what I'm going to say. You're calling a certain method because this this thing right here, it's actually a method, and that method is the constructor. What it does is it pretty much it initializes uh, this player player object to be a new player so it it pretty much uh, all right how do I say this how do I say this it takes your object and just in case you need to do something uh, it it kinda gives you the ability to set some variables and do some stuff in your object to actually preset it with some uh, information that makes it significant rather than just uh, leaving it blank right away so anyways that might have made no sense at all but what I'm really trying to say is that uh, we can set the Bob's name variable with this method with this constructor right here and now that I've said that let's kind of go over to our player class and kind of explore how do we even make a constructor or a method that would allow us to Th this method that would allow us to actually set some of Bob's variables uh, upon declaration. Well, let's go to our player class, and this is actually how you make a constructor. You always need to make a constructor. You type the public keyword. All right, public. There is no return type to a constructor. There is no return type. It just initializes. It doesn't. It's 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 not even really a method technically. I'm just saying that so. You guys kind of get an idea. It does something. So a method does something. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to give you guys a good example right now. It's a, it's a constructor. Let's call it a constructor from now on. It has no return type at all. So no, 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 not even a void. It's just going to be public and then the name of the class. All right. Player is the current name of the class. We just put that name of the class, round parentheses, two curly braces, and bam we've created a player constructor this is what's automatically created by every class and what we can use to initialize the object all right it's automatically we don't even have to technically do this but even so this program would still run but we can create 
we can create another constructor. We can modify this one and we can make it so so that if we enter say a parameter here we can take that parameter and we can set it to one of our variables one of Bob's variables without actually have it having to type Bob dot name is equal to etc uh, uh, sorry guys background noise there but hope you didn't hear any of that uh, but anyways uh, let's move on so how can how can we kind of cr do this without even even typing explicitly Bob dot name and setting it equal to all right I, th I think I've, I've said that already enough times uh, so anyways we have our player constructor here right well let's give it a parameter of say string name string or no actually just string n leave it at that uh, so anyways what what does this mean this means that instead of just putting player with round parentheses in it it also expects an argument of string and it expects a string argument that's going to be uh, referenced as n in this method. All right. Uh, so, for example, what do we want to do with this n? Well, all we really want to do, we want to take uh, the global variable for each class, this this variable that actually belongs to each object, to each instance of the class player, and let's just set uh, that the global variable name equal to the local variable that the user entered for each specific case. All right, guys. Sorry, my CPU usage my CPU usage is going really high for some reason. Uh, probably because I'm using the screen recorder. But, anyways, all we really did we took our global variable, set it equal to our local variable n. Bam, nothing to it. The value he entered now becomes our name variable. Uh, so let's do that for each of these constructors. Uh, let's say this is going to be Billy Ryan Bob. All right. And this guy is going to be simply Bob. This guy is going to be Joe. Uh, and there's nothing to it. We have just created for each of these, we have both made an object, P1, of type player, and we've set it equal to a new player with already an initialized name. This string value is set to the name variable of this object. And this is so for each of these. So we don't even actually have to type Bob.name is equal to Bob, right? We can just right away, right now, if we actually, we can test this out. We can just put a simple system.out.println. Uh, we can print out Bob.name, and we, we didn't even set that. We set Bob.name explicitly, right? We just, uh, sorry, Ugh. excuse me. We just create, we just use our constructor player with um, a string a string parameter that is uh, eventually set to our name, our name global variable for each of our uh, objects. We've just used that constructor to set our name. And now let's see if this works. And if everything goes well, once we hit that play button there, if everything goes well, we should see B-O-B -B displayed in our console window. And... Come on. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Everything went well. We didn't even actually have to, like, um, display Bob.name. We didn't actually have to explicitly set it. I don't know. I keep repeating myself because I just want to kind of make a point here, a solid point. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me see how much time I have. Uh, yeah. I think this is enough for the tutorial on constructors, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, there's also something that we can... That's something that's called multiple constructors, and we will be going over that in the next tutorial, guys. Uh, that's just to leave you guys with a thought. Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you found the info useful, and peace.